foodie friends, welcome to my channel. Before you go, if you haven't already, hit that like button, ring the bell to stay notified when I upload, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I should have totally put on my apron <laughs> prior to my gloves. All right, what are we doing today? Am I cooking? Sure, later. Are you gonna see it? Mm, not for this video. However, why am I doing this video? Well. As much as I'd love to take you on a grocery haul with me uh, during this uh, crazy time that we're going through right now, I don't feel comfortable filming, especially should I catch people in there uh, who are minors. So I'm going to show you, because uh, I always break it down in terms of a cost, what it is that I'm, I'm, I'm paying for and what it comes to. And yes, of course, Costco, Costco, Costco. So we're going to take a look at the things that I bought from Costco, hence the gloves. And I'm going to show you how it is that I break it down to feed my family of four with leftovers. And sometimes my family of six when I have uh, my my bestie, you know, Lori over, a.k.a. the Loris. You remember her. And Kim and me. All right. So let's take a look. First of all, it's hot. <laughs> so I have to pack all my meats in a cooler with like a whole bunch of cooler packs, you know, so... They wouldn't go bad in the car. So first we're gonna start with our ground buff. And although I'm going to uh, show you how it is, I break down a few of them, I'm not going to do all over my camera. That would just take an obscene amount of time. So a thing of ground buff, this one is 2.37 kilos. So that's, you know, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. And it was 21. 78 all right anyways this to me is six meals okay now depending on my meal plan um i may do transfer this into eight and uh do smaller packs and then double up uh to make larger meals so when i'm doing like a meat sauce i use a smaller amount when i'm doing meatballs i do a smaller amount so forth and so forth if i'm doing burgers I do a lot. So I got two packs of those because uh, it's Father's Day weekend and I've got my in-laws coming over and my father-in-law absolutely adores burgers and he says he loves mine. I hope he does because you know, he's cute. My father-in-law is a cutie. Anyways, so I put them in these Ziploc. I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to the bags that I use uh, for the freezer. I only ever use Ziploc. Yes, I know I can do the, the airtight um, thing myself. I don't have one of those devices yet. I haven't felt the need for it. But anyways, and I'm gonna squish out all the air. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this divided and show you how the amount of meat that I'm gonna put in here and then we're also going to do pork, we're going to do chicken, and uh, after I switch out my gloves, we're also going to be doing the chicken that, the rotisserie chicken, and I'll show you how I, I mark that out. So just before I start, when I say I'm going to divide it into six, how do you do that? Well, I literally just envision this in six. So I'm gonna make an indentation here. I'm gonna pull you close up. Pull you nice and close. I'm using my wrong hand. That's the problem. All right, y'all. Making an indentation here, and I'm making an indentation here. So thus far, I have divided this potentially into thirds. And then I'm just going to come here. So this gives me a rough estimate. Okay? There's my six portions. That's it. It's pretty easy peasy. Again, now here it's really, really bulky and here there it's less so. So I'm going to be less liberal here, right? And kind of squish it out some. And if I need to, you know, pull from here to put from here or here from there, I can, I can do that. I'm, this is just a rough guide and that's how I portion it out into six. So we're gonna do the math and break it down, but each one was roughly $21. When I add the two together and divide it out and average it, each pack was essentially $21, so 21 divided into six. 
Okay, so when I did the two together, and again, it does come out to about $21. This is like $20 and something odd cents. So I round up to $21. Divided by six is three fifty. I don't know if you can, you can, uh, anyways, it's three fifty for each meal of protein. So if I'm making homemade hamburgers, I'm going to use two of them, which means seven dollars. If I'm making meatballs, well, that's three fifty, and then my sauce, two dollars, five fifty, so forth and so forth. You know how we do this. Let's get it in the bag, shall we? Okay. So next we have pork. Um, and the way I always do it is I start with my beef products first, I move into the pork, I move into the raw chicken, I wash my gloves in between each friggin' one, but I always end with the raw chicken because that is the deadliest in terms of salmonella and cross-contamination. Then I will put on clean gloves before I strip down my cooked rotisserie chicken. Just, uh, really wishing I died. <laughs> okay. Now... Normally I buy pork tenderloin, but I didn't this time around um, because we do have Father's Day coming as well. So aside from making a mass amount of burgers for my father-in-law, we're doing a pork roast for my husband for Father's Day. Nice dinner, some gravy, some uh, probably some homemade bread, you know, a nice spinach kale salad, and all the trimmings that go with a lovely pork dinner. So. I purchased, which is a little bit on the more expensive side, but every time, every once in a while, it's it's fine. And yes, we do do pork roast. Um, I mean, we could do a beef roast, but I don't find that they typically go on sale less than like 20 something dollars a piece. And for my family, economically, I mean, I'm okay with this. So for two really lovely pork roasts, it's $16.73, so that's about $8.32 and change-ish each one. Where we spend some money today is on our pork side ribs. They're $28 for two. Now, they're really meaty. They're very lovely. They're super tender. I do have um, one of my other besties and her, her family coming over for a barbecue in a couple of weeks on a weekend. So, going to make my famous blueberry ribs. Um, I'm going to use one. I already have one in the freezer, so that's fine. Um, so I'm going to use one in addition to that rack. When it comes to me and my family, this one rack is a lot of meat. That is super a lot of meat in terms of your portion size, guys. So I will cut one of these racks in half to get two meals out of it. So if I were to do that for my family, if I was buying this for my family at $28.30, that would mean each rack would be $14.15. And if I would cut that in half, because I cut the rack in half, that would mean my protein would be like $7.75 per meal for protein, which is still a little bit on the higher end, but on a nice, you know, Saturday evening, throw this with some salad, some bread, you, you got this. Anyways, that's how I would break it down. So I've got my trusty large bags here, my ribs I'm gonna have to fold. Let's bag them and get on, shall we? Now, one thing that I'm just gonna put away in the freezer um, that's part of my, my weekly protein that I don't necessarily have to separate is my fish. So today I chose my haddock and their fillets. I can either do them on the barbecue, I can do them in the air fryer, I can saute them on the pan. I can do whatever I want. It's a very versatile fish. It's a very clean white fish in terms of flavor, fat content, and gives you the, the fatty omega acids that you need. So this was just about, um, I think it was $18. So I'll likely get three meals out of it, if not more, which works out to be about $6 a piece. But this is just going in the freezer. Now for our, our raw chicken, uh, I do legs and thighs because I've had gastric bypass and I find that the dark meat sits better on my stomach as opposed to uh, chicken breast. If I'm gonna eat chicken breast, it's a whole other story. But anyways, it was $15.89 for my drumsticks for the legs and $17.55 for my thighs, which comes out to $33.44. Now I normally get about Six meals. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> All right. Now I normally get about six meals 
out of uh, one of these, plus um, enough to do my own homemade dog food for my poochie pie. Yeah, that'll be a video too. And there's four of us, so I do four legs and I do four thighs. I only ever eat one piece. The thighs have less calories than the leg, plus they have more meat. So, you know. Anyways, I do four and four. I'm putting these aside just because barbecue chicken is on the menu for tonight. And then this way I can go ahead and marinate it. So there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these in a bag. We'll see how many I get out of it in terms of meals and break it down from a cost perspective that way. All right, y'all, I got five meals out of it with some overflow. So in some of the bags I put it in, I put some in tonight's dinner for overflow. It was about four additional pieces. Again, I like eight in a meal. So I'll mark those bags uh, specifically that have the overflow so that when I have company coming over, I will know if I'm taking out chicken, take out that because it's got a little bit more protein. Side note, I only eat one. My littlest little only eats one. That accounts for two pieces. <sighs> Teenagers and hubby, like plus leftovers. So now it comes for the arduous task of sealing everything up. Chicken is always off to the side separately um, so it doesn't cross contaminate anything. Now it's really important to get your airflow out. Okay, so I always like nice unison pieces, bags here, and I push out all the air because we don't want things to be freezer burned. There you go. Okay, so and always first in, first out. So when I go to the freezer, if I've got any packs of ground beef left, I think of like one or two, and same with the pork, I'll pull the frozen ones out first. The fresh ones that are not frozen go on the bottom, and then the frozen ones on top, so that freezer burn is not an issue. Five meals. So that broke out to $6 and 68 cents for protein, which is a little high, but y'all, we're also paying pandemic prices right now, I don't think. I've ever paid $17 for chicken thighs before in my life. So there it is. All right, I'm gonna get these all sealed. We'll be back when we're ready to go into the deep freeze. Yeah. Okay, so first in, first out. So there's my one pack. Yeah. So these go in. that one out first. Now to do the pork. All right, so I only had two pork tenderloins in here. Um, and bunny pork tenderloins. So in the pork goes and in the deep freeze. So apparently I had quite a bit of chicken already. That's fine, I'll just work more chicken into my menu and meal plan. No, I want to eat it, mommy. I want to eat it. He went pee pee, y'all. <laughs> it's just what happens when you potty train little ones. Anyways, first in, first out. All right, now comes time for the rotisserie chicken so that I can bag it and get it all ready. I put all the good meat in here so that I can mix it up so it's evenly dispersed between white and dark. And I use this primarily for the curries. I use it for some pasta dishes and I use it for chicken soup and chicken dumplings. I do have a bowl um, for my compost, a bowl for my poochie on, on little scraps, and a bowl that my husband is likely going to be getting into. So let's break it down. All right, so that seemed like it was like a half hour long for me. Anyways, so there's all my meat. It's mixed uh, thoroughly between white and dark. My compost pile, my for later pile, because other people like to eat the skin. I clean all the skin off, I don't like it. Um, and then I am saving the four wings. We're having barbecue chicken for dinner, so I'll just slap some barbecue sauce on those and put them on the grill. And some for my poochie. What? My poochie pie. And so I literally just turn the bags inside out when I don't have additional hands. And then very carefully 
just like that and then I'll get a spoon at the end um, and I will fill it um, a little bit more than that and then I'll roll it and freeze it but I will get about six bags to eight bags depending on what I've got for the meal plan so they work out to be about two dollars that's my protein meal shop at Costco this was a hella long video as always my foodie friends I'm gonna keep the apron on because I'm gonna keep going but from my kitchen to yours Enjoy, stay safe. My check on my dinner I made. And I'm gonna go check out his Play-Doh dinner that he made. If you like the content that I'm putting out there, give me a share, like, hit the bell to stay notified when I upload. Deuces. As always, guys, enjoy.